Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch one of our quick help troubleshooting videos. In this video, we will perform a CA4K complete install. The installation in this video will be compressed to shorten the video but keep it informative. In the beginning of the installation, prerequisites will be installed. The prerequisites will vary from computer to computer. Certain operating systems might already contain these prerequisites. As mentioned in the Preparing to Install video, one of the first and most important prerequisites is to verify you have full administrator permissions. Please verify this prior to starting the installation. Another important prerequisite is the software license. Please have the card access .lick file on the desktop. You will not use it in this video. This file will be used in the licensing video. There are multiple methods to launch the installation. You can launch it from a launch menu or navigate to the launch executable using File Explorer. Once launched, the main menu will display. Click the Install Card Access 4K button. At this point, prerequisites will be installed. As previously mentioned, one or more prerequisites will be installed. Click the Install button. Next, you will see a progress bar while setup is preparing. Next, the screen will display the Install Wizard screen. Click Next. Next, select the Install Type. The complete install type should be selected by default. Click Next. Next, the destination folder screen will display. For this demonstration, we will use the default path. Click Next. Next, the screen will display two checkboxes. The first selection is to install the CA4K version of EPI badging. If the CA4K EPI badging is already installed and licensed on this computer, do not select this checkbox. The existing EPI badging will continue to work fine. If the EPI badging on this computer is from Card Access 3000, you must revoke the two EPI licenses and uninstall EPI prior to installing the CA4K and EPI. Note. If you select to install EPI badging, it will not be installed until the end of the installation and the computer is restarted. The second checkbox is for the HASP driver. The HASP driver is for the custom CA4K hardware dongles, and in almost all cases, you will not select this. If you do install this and it fails, you will have to perform a command line installation when you are done with the install. Please refer to the Complete Install Installation Document or the Quick Help System for more details. Next, the screen will display the components the installation will install. Click Next. First, a progress bar will display while it is configuring the software installation. Next, if it's not already on the computer, the SAP Crystal Reports will be installed. Crystal Reports is used for the CA4K reports. Very important! If the Crystal Reports installation fails, continue on and you can reinstall it from the DVD. During the Crystal Reports installation, you will be required to click Next a few times and also accept the license agreement. Click Finish when it is complete. After Crystal Reports is installed, a message will display that the firmware files are being copied. Very important! At this point, if you have not pre-installed Microsoft SQL Server, approximately four screens will display while SQL Server is installed. This could take a few minutes. If SQL Server is already installed, the following screen will display. Next. A database's Create and Update screen will display. This process may take a few minutes. This screen will display all the databases that need to be updated. 
If you wish to update any databases, select the databases and click Next. If there are no databases to update, a green progress bar will display 100%. Click Close. Next, if there are not existing databases, a message box will display that databases are being created. A new single computer installation should create five new databases. Each database consists of two files. These new databases will be in the program data folder. After the installation is complete, you will be prompted to restart the computer. Click Yes and exit out of the main installation menu. It is always recommended to restart the computer. For our demonstration, we will not restart. The next screen will display an example of the five databases that was installed. Your date and timestamp on the file names will be different. Again, it will be a total of 10 files. To view the program data folder, you must go into File Explorer Options and select to show hidden files and folders. This concludes this quick help video on performing a complete install installation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.